This is Morning Prayers at St. Peter's, Ipswich, brought to you online, a place where we study God's Word together and where we join our hearts and our voices before the throne of God, praying for the needs of our world, our church and ourselves. Welcome this morning. Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayers from St. Peter's Church, Ipsley, Redditch. My name is Linda Nicholas and I'm part of the ministry team at St. Peter's. Thank you for joining with me this morning as it's always good to share worship together. And all this week we've been taking prayers from the Church of England Book of Common Prayer for Passion Tide. And the readings are readings set for today. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Let up your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Now, our first reading is Psalm 1 to 6. Psalm 1 to 6. The Lord has indeed done great things for us. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then we were like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongues with songs of joy. Then they said they among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has indeed done great things for us, and therefore we rejoiced. Restore again our fortunes, O Lord, as the riverbeds of the desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed, will come back with shouts of joy, bearing their sheaves with them. The Lord has indeed done great things for us. Let us pray. Lord, as you send rain and flowers, even to the wilderness, renew us by your Holy Spirit. Help us to sow good seed in time of adversity and to live to rejoice in your good harvest of all creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Gospel reading this morning is John 20, verses 20 to 36a. John 12, verses 20 to 36a. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. 
Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honour. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, The voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The man who loves his life will lose it, while the man who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Some Greek Jews ask Philip to take them to Jesus, which along with Andrew, he does. Jesus says that his time to be glorified has arrived. A seed must die in the ground to multiply. A person who loves his life will lose his life. Jesus calls out, Father, glorify your name. A voice from heaven answers him. Some of the onlookers hear it as thunder, while others say that an angel spoke to Jesus. Jesus goes on to say that they had their light with them for just a short time. He urges them to put their trust in the light so that they may become sons of light. Many people, even Christians, are consumed with the things of the world. Career, marriage, family, housing. These things are important, but not, must not be the ultimate focus of our attention. Many people talk about work-life balance. What is the point about juggling career and family when all of it will pass away so quickly? We need to put God's will at the centre of all our thinking. If we are to be a doctor or an engineer, say, an electrician or a mechanic, do it all for God's glory. If God calls us to move to another town or another country, let's do it because God is directing us, 
not our personal ambition or the directive of the boss. Jesus tells us to hate our life in this world. He doesn't mean that literally, but he is saying that what we do for him must be more important than the concerns and worries of this life. He also promises that if we seek his kingdom and his righteousness, then he will provide all of the other things for us. We come to a time of prayer. Lord, it is so easy to be captivated by the things of this world. Please help us to let go of these things and let you direct every part of our lives. High and holy God, robed in majesty, Lord of heaven and earth, we pray that you will bring justice, faith and salvation to all people, especially we pray for those people who are victims of modern day slavery, for those who are physically or mentally abused, victims of domestic abuse. Be with all people, Lord, at it all times, especially when they suffer. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. You chose us in Christ to be your people and to be the temple of your Holy Spirit. We pray that you will fill your church with vision and hope. And especially today, we pray for, in our diocesan prayers, Christchurch, Melvin. We pray for their small, Bible-based and Eucharistic-centred congregation, for the fruition of their plans for a Sunday school, for the work in local schools, and for the concerts as part of community outreach, weekly book fairs with tea, coffee, cakes and biscuits together with live music, and for their church being a rehearsal space for musicians. Help us all, Lord, to engage with our community in a way that offers help to those who need it. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Your spirit enables us to cry, Abba, Father, affirming that we are fellow heirs with Christ and pleads for us in our weakness. We pray for all those who are in need or distress. Especially, we pray for those who are ill, in hospital, in care homes, in hospice. We remember, though, those known to us. Those mentioned in the weekly catch who needs your help. Those with no one to pray for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the baptism and birth of Jesus, you have opened heaven to us and enabled us to share in your glory the joy of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit from before the world was made. Especially we remember those who mourn the death of a loved one, be it recent or long ago. We remember the family and friends of Pam Linton as her funeral takes place today. May your whole church, living and departed, come to a joyful resurrection in your city of light. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God.
and the collect for today. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your, uh, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining with me this week. And there'll be more morning prayers next week, Monday to Friday at 10 o'clock on the usual YouTube channel. Please do join us for Sunday worship at 10.30 on Sunday for our Palm Sunday service. The P Palm Sunday parade will start at Berrington Green at 10 o'clock. And in the afternoon, we have families at four with our own Palm Sunday parade at four o'clock. Hope to see you at one of the services. Bye for now.